Good morning. Welcome to Tara at Home and uh, really exciting news to tell you about. Of course, we all know uh, Tara as being a uh, great for plant life in our in our house and outside our house but uh, also now it's about lifestyle right so we are actually going to be seeing jewelry at some of our Terra locations we're back here with Monica from Glam Jewels and uh, we just had you on the show not that long ago and we realized we need to have your jewelry in our store yes. <laughs> so this is so cool because I love buying your jewelry so it's gonna make it extra convenient uh, for a lot of people now that go to Terra yeah so exactly. tell me so tell me I mean obviously you know you know your stuff people in the region around the Golden Horse you're very familiar with your jewelry and have watched you grow and develop and change throughout the years. Yeah. Um, so, you know, obviously you had to decide what product to bring to Terra. Exactly. And it's yeah, it's, it's so very fun, right? exciting. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So what we did was actually today the pieces that I brought are kind of a sneak peek as to what people will be seeing in Terra. Cool. And uh, and a couple of things that I wanted to show. The pieces that we chose because it's coming in the end of September mm -hmm. where people are starting to already think about Christmas yes in October absolutely. absolutely so we were thinking gifty things things that were like you know under forty dollars that would be a great gift like a secretary's gift or a gift mm -hmm. for the babysitter or a gift yes. for a best friend or just yes. pick easy or little pick-me-up <laughs> or yourself exactly everybody needs a gift for themselves <laughs> sure. of course. so this little necklace here is really great this is a little single strand, mm -hmm. and the whole concept with this necklace is that it has a little coordinating piece with a different bead that can be layered on top. I love that. And yeah. see, what's great about that, again, you can just buy the one, and sometimes, you know what, you can also, if you can make it almost a two-parter gift for somebody, by being able to do that, you know, yeah. next along the way for their birthday, buy the second piece, or, you know. Yeah. But again, a good, you know, good price points anyway, regardless if you want to buy both at the same time. That's right, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. some people like a lighter look. Mm -hmm. Now, there's another style that um, that uh, the ladies at Terra really loved, and mm -hmm. that's our our big necklace here yeah. with the multiple strands. People love those when they see them yeah. because they're such an impact piece, right? So you could be completely yeah. neutral in your clothing and just wear that. That's right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is a real statement piece, but let's say you wanted to create your own statement piece. You mm -hmm. can do that with these single strands. So you could just buy a bunch of You could of buy a bunch of them in different colors, do like a really cool multicolored idea, like mm -hmm. create your own look like this, mm -hmm. but using the singles. Mm -hmm. And that's what's so. great about uh, the jewelry. I mean, if you look around, I mean, there are so many different color combinations that you can make again you know obviously you don't even have to match your outfit sometimes I mean, it's just all about the neutral again yeah. uh, but but you can also find it'll pick color out of you know for example something like this I mean look at the beautiful color combinations in there yeah um, but you know again you could just wear that with gray and it looks so cool oh yeah <laughs> or looks brown amazing. or whatever right? yeah so you know there's lots of options and that's what I guess is what e is easy about it and so if you look around um, when you're when you're shopping at Terra sort of in that you know the home decor area you know you've got everything from candles and creams and lotions and things like that but so this just kind of makes sense yes right because yeah. again it's all part of the gifty thing so you can you know get into uh, some of the kitchenic you know candles and soaps and that that we have here and you can almost make a gift basket yeah. You could really, you know, have lots of fun with sort of styles. Exactly. Now, um, you're obviously wearing something that's really cool too, because this is yeah. a, this is just a one. This is one necklace. This as well. is one necklace, mm -hmm. but it actually comes apart, so you can wear it um, mm -hmm. many different ways. Mm -hmm. So it can be worn long, also. Yeah. So and then you can so cool. flip the layers. So just depending on what you want to wear at the front, you flip it. Isn't and then neat? I love wearing it like this too. So it's yeah. a little more asymmetrical okay, yeah, like that. Cool. That's right, yeah. so you've got the beads on the side. So that's really, really cool. Yeah, it's so, really you great. know, obviously earrings as well. So if we're getting yes. into, you know, um, so you've got the layering ideas, but then also just getting into earrings and rings, that that's just really gift, easy gift ideas as exactly. well, Exactly, right? and our cocktail rings are fabulous. Yeah, those are to cool. To see these, yeah. Those are cool, and again, the matching martini on, over the holidays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're right though. I mean, people will be looking for Christmas gifts very, yeah, very soon. Yeah, definitely. Right? And the colored denim is huge too for fall. So that's still happening, so, right? Yes, it's big. And uh, this necklace here, I know I showed it the last time I was in, but the the people at Terra really love this necklace mm -hmm. too. And we've based the colors on what's happening with colored denim because you can wear this as a belt as well. So it looks oh. really, really cool with your jeans. Oh, yeah. and yeah, that. that's actually a really cool idea. Yeah, and again with this one too, I love how that you can actually kind of play around with this exactly. in terms of where you hook it as well, right? Yeah, and long, make it shorter, short. longer. 
anything like that's that. That's right. You can even wear it like a bracelet, just yeah. wrap it around your yeah, waist. Yeah, exactly. I've done that before, actually, too. No, yeah. again, so we're talking about some of the trends. Obviously, you know, you're looking at color trends when you're making your jewelry and you're going ahead of time and you're down the road. But, yeah. I mean, really, with you, I mean, you can kind of anything goes, right? Because people are always looking for something maybe to match an outfit. As we're talking about holidays, we're also getting into that time of year where you're starting to go to events again. Yes. You know, events kind of dormant throughout the course of the summer. But now you're starting to go to those evening events, um, you know, fundraisers and things like that. And you need yeah. a piece. You need to have some stuff. This makes it easy, right? Yeah. Very you know? easy. Exactly. And, and again, so you're going to need any color goes because you're going to need to match whatever dress it is or whatever you have going. So, yep. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. Yeah. So again, basically what we're looking at is this being in uh, the tarot locations coming in within the next uh, week or so. And uh, you'll be able to find you're going to have a full display set yeah, up. And, that's right. I'm yeah. excited. I'm going to be uh, helping out with setting up the jewelry mm -hmm. and meeting the staff and showing them how all the pieces work. So it's it'll be really nice when customers come in. The staff will know yeah. how they work. And yeah. 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 Now, and yeah. again, that's the thing because there's only so many places around the region. Um, you're based out of Burlington. Yes. Um, only so many places around the region that we can actually find your product. So yeah. this makes it kind of known for people. Obviously, it'll be at this Water Down location. Yes. And what that's other locations? Right. And uh, the Burlington location. Yeah. Perfect. Down on Highway 5. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. Very yeah. cool. So it makes it fun for people to. Uh, to find, uh, oh, I like these two. So these are yeah. fun too, though. This is something, of course, I, I've been familiar with over the years that you've had, but I love that you've added, that's almost looked like... It's pyrite. Oh, is that what yeah. that is? Yeah, we're Look using that. a lot more semi-precious now, so. Oh. Yeah, and it looks beautiful mixed in with the glass. Oh, it's so cool. So yeah. we should also remind people, too, that, you know, besides this being able to buy it in, in store, you know, you also do uh, wedding parties and yes, you know, right. full-on bridal parties, so you can be yeah. very specific. And this is what will set it off for people. If they come in and find a piece that they like, then a lot of times people find jewelry, especially if they know if it's made locally, handmade, mm -hmm. that that it can also be used, you know, for for something like that for a bridal party. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. And that happens a lot. A bride may come in and see this necklace and say, "This is perfect for my bridal party," mm -hmm. but my girls are wearing hot pink and purple. Yeah. And we can create that, no problem. So you so. can literally sit down with them and like handpick the beads and exactly yes. what you want. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I love it. So lots of fun. Okay, so um, again, really excited about having uh, having Glam Jewels and of course you and hopefully we'll see you kicking around the store and... Yeah. Oh, you will. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I know I'm going to be buying lots. Oh no, what have you done to me? I'm going to be buying way too much of this stuff. So again, this is uh, of course going to be at our tarot locations within the next week or so by the end of September and uh, perfect and it'll be running right through into the holiday season and continue on forevermore. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the show, Monica. Monica Thank Graves you. of Glam Jewels and we will have more Tara at home coming up after this. Live color fully at Terra, where color lives. AM 900 CHML is giving you more news when you want it most. Non-stop news weekday mornings 5 till 9, weekday afternoons 3 to 6, with weather and traffic on the 9s. Hear about it first from AM 900 CHML, Hamilton's news talk leader. Heritage Perennials presents Terra's Perennial Pick of the Week. The most popular maiden hair grass, Priscillimus gets five to six feet tall with coppery pink blooms in late fall. It's super easy and extremely tough. Heritage Perennials. Look for us in the blue pots. Good morning. Welcome back to Tara at Home. We have a great fundraising, fundraising initiative coming up in Hamilton here on September 30th. And I'm being joined by a defensive back, Ryan Hines of the Hamilton Tiger Cats Football Club, because you have a special play in this whole event. You're kind of the, the front man of it. And uh, so let's go back and, and look at the story of how this all came to be. Um, well, I was uh, doing an internship at McMaster Children's Hospital mm -hmm. um, in my off season. And uh, one of the doctors that had done some work in Guyana and had been doing work in Guyana for the past several years uh, approached me when he found out that I was from the country of Guyana mm -hmm. and uh, told me about the uh, project and I jumped at it just because I'm a big fan of kids and when I found out it was a chance to go help kids in my yeah. home country, I... Well, I, it makes sense, right? Yeah, it yeah. works it perfectly, right? Absolutely. Fit. 
Nicely. Yeah, no, so the, the event is called Touch a Tractor, <coughs> and it's tied in with the Robar Center, which is a huge, a huge love and tie in and family relationship with the Hamilton Tiger Cats Football Club, yeah. which again ties in with you. And yeah. um, I know being with the cheerleaders, they are a sponsor of our, our calendar, and yeah. uh, they do so much more with the club. So yeah. this kind of, again, all just worked out perfectly for you to be involved. It absolutely did, yeah. yeah. So uh, what is Touch a, Touch a Tractor, anyway? <laughs> well, I mean, well, what it is is it's, it's, it's basically a fun-filled event for you know family and kids to come out. Mm -hmm. um, you get to see all those huge tractors that all those kids and um, by, by kids I mean myself as yeah, well. Um, totally. <laughs> just love seeing and I've always kind of wanted to see see them up close and climb on them, see what they look like, mm -hmm. you know, and maybe even find out how they work. Uh, and it's it's just an opportunity to come out and see them in person. Um, but even on top of that, we're going to have uh, a bunch of other stuff there. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be uh, a race car driver there. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be potentially a helicopter, maybe some motorcycles and stuff like that. And that's the thing. It's uh, not just, I mean, these guys, Robar Center is all about, the, you know, training uh, heavy equipment operators, right? Yeah. So, but uh, it's it's all different types of machinery. So all different types. That's why kids of all ages, including adults, yep. will love to get up close and really kind of get in there. And, and be able to be part of this. Exactly. I mean, it's mm -hmm. going to be tons of fun. I mean, the, the Robar Center themselves, they're providing over 20 pieces of different machinery cool. to come and check out. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, on top of that, there's going to be some face painting. I mean, it's going to be a big, yeah. fun filled day. Maybe it's going to be kind of like a fair. There. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, of course, my teammates are going to come out and uh, support. And, you know, we're going to be joined by the cheerleaders and yeah. Pigs Game Pete's going to make an appearance. I mean, it's going to be a fun day for everybody. It's fun. It's a total family event. And we need more of that happening around the region, right? So, um, you know, to, to kind of go back again to the roots of all this. So, this is a fundraising initiative. So, what what is raised there that day? Let's take it back to Guyana again and what and how it's going to help. Well, um, Myself and the charity went down there uh, mm -hmm. in March of this year, okay. and we and we uh, met with uh, some of the officials from the hospital, and you know walked around the actual place and got a feel mm -hmm. of the need that was there, and uh, so we came up with a certain number that we needed uh, a, a, a certain amount of money that we need to raise, right. and right. we decided that when we come back to Canada, we're gonna do as much fundraising as we possibly can to go down there and open up a pediatric ward. Wow. Uh, the pediatric ward down there is it's it's. It's not in a good, good state yes. and it needs its help. And so, you know, we just want to provide that help. So any money that's raised here mm -hmm. will be directly given to the, uh, the project, which will be to open up a new pediatric ward. Oh, that's amazing. So, you know, reading up on it, um, basically any of the healthcare that's provided there is privatized. So for the most part anyway. Yeah. And so it's only uh, given basically to some of the privileged people. Right. And, yeah. and we know how unfair that can be. Right. So yeah. that's why this is going to help regulate the system a little bit. Precisely. Um, to be more specific, you know, there's there's two trained pediatricians in the whole country of Guyana, and both those Whoa. pediatricians are in the private sector, and you know, obviously the majority of the uh, of, of the country can't afford to be right. to, to have private uh, mm -hmm. healthcare. So, you know, they're really at a, at a disadvantage there, mm -hmm. and this is just one of the steps we're taking to you know improve the healthcare uh, in that area. Okay, so and so basically, mo majority of of children are not being treated by. Specialists. Specialists, precisely. Right. I mean, the, the, the doctors there are, are great at what they do, but obviously, mm -hmm. you know, specialization is, 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 is a huge part of healthcare. Mm -hmm. And, and so, you know that working at Mac Kids, right. I mean, we're working in one of the, you know, the leading areas in healthcare yeah. in the country. Yeah. So you know how specific that can be yeah. where you, there are specific needs. Because we're constantly growing our healthcare here exactly. and look how advanced it is. Precisely. Right. And uh, well, the, the whole idea is to um, make that pediatric ward look something similar. Uh, mm -hmm. To what you would see at, at, at a McMaster. I mean, wow. chances are it would never, it, or, or it wouldn't get to that stage just right. for this one change. But right. I mean, any improvement is, is 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 a necessary improvement. Okay, so you now you haven't been. We were talking earlier that the uh, last time you were there, you were seven years old. So yeah. for you to go back and um, and connect, I mean, really, it was it needed to be almost a firsthand thing for you to really yeah. understand the state that they're in. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I didn't want to. Um, take a, a lead in, in this initiative having not been back there, mm -hmm. you know, and say, well, this is what it is, this is what it is, and I haven't even been there myself mm -hmm. in, you know, some like, you know, almost 20 years or so. Right. So that's why I felt like I need to go down there so I could say that I've seen this and, and been, been there firsthand. Um, so that's why I, I, I went back. Now, mm -hmm. obviously, it, it, was a, it, was, it was kind of bittersweet for me because um, it was bitter because I saw the need that was there, but it's sweet because I got to go back to mm -hmm. a place that, you know, is my native country and mm -hmm. I hadn't been so long and I got long to see some time. old family and friends and just, just 
Yeah. Just it was, it was great being back, you mm -hmm. know, to my initial home. Mm -hmm. Now, once this all comes to be and we start, you know, putting together the funds, do you think you're going to have an opportunity to go back? I'm definitely going back. There's, Are you? There's, okay, there's, that's what I was thinking. There is no way that I, that I will not go you back. You want to see how what's going to come of this, right? I, I, I have to see. I yeah. mean, I. To me, and one thing, I, I want to follow through with, with the whole process, but, yeah. you know, for me, I I want to see the smile on kids' faces when we go back and, mm -hmm. you know, we, we say that we're going to provide you guys with a new um, pediatric board. Now, do you, know, do you know a hard number on what is needed to make this happen over there? Um, there's a... There's a gray area of a number, but I mean, yeah. there, but there is a number, and yeah. um, we're working towards that. But I mean, this is just one of the fundraising initiatives one of many. To, to, to get to that number. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so that's what's cool is, you know, you bring in together, you know, people from the, around the city, like Robar Center, and, you yeah. know, and Paul and Susan, of course, at Robar Center, um, and the Hamilton Tire Cats, yeah. and everybody coming together to make this initiative happen. Yeah. And, and again, you know, bringing it back to the event now, it's also just fun. It's a fun day out. Tons of fun. Right? So now for people to, to come, it's they come up to the Robar Center here on Nebo Road. Right? Yep. And it's open for the day? For a day from 10 okay. to 4. Okay. And free to get in? Uh, it Well, how we raise the money. It, it, uh huh. It, That's what I was wondering. I wanted to know. So, how much? Can people just come straight to buy the ticket here at the gate and in your go? They absolutely can. Perfect. I mean, I mean there's a. It's a ten dollars ticket, you know. Just Beautiful. come in and, and easy. very, very simple. Yeah. Come in, have a have a great day, or or you can buy tickets beforehand. Okay. Whichever, whichever, whichever you choose, whichever okay. is for you. Very, very good. So yeah. they come out here, they get to walk around, have an opportunity to meet Thai cats, barbecue, face painting, yeah. and and of course you'll be there. I will definitely be there. I'll be there with my face painted more likely than not. <laughs> oh really? Um, I cool. Whatever, yeah. I might I might change it a, a couple times during the there day. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Sparkles and everything, and, yeah. uh, and of course stunning autographs, and uh, yeah. and again it's just good for the community and good to have people. Yeah. Out, so yeah um, well I mean you anyone coming out will, will get a great chance to meet you know any of the Thai players because I know that, yeah. that a lot of us will be out there in, uh, in, in support well I know because everybody wants to support you and I know when any of the players do any type of these fundraising initiatives around the region you guys all just help each other yeah out. we, we, we help each we know, other out. they know it's all about you we have our little family, so whenever That's our family's right. having a nice little family Everybody event, goes. we come out, you know? Very good. Well, thanks for uh, hanging out with me today. Ryan, Ryan Hines again from the Hamilton Tire Cats. The event is on September 30th at the Robar Center. That's it for now. Come and explore the new Terra, where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, Look for trees and shrubs with the Medallion Plant Tag. Medallion Plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. AM 900 CHML is giving you more news when you want it most. Non-stop news weekday mornings 5 till 9, weekday afternoons 3 to 6, with weather and traffic on the 9s. Hear about it first from AM 900 CHML, Hamilton's news talk leader. Welcome back to Tara at Home and to stick with our first day of fall theme, we're back in the kitchen with Chef Rachel and you can see how we slowly shift from summer into officially fall. Um, the menu starts to change a little bit, right? It does. It kind does. of start to get into a little bit more comfort food and of course using fall offerings, right? like spaghetti squash. Yes. So tell us what we're making. Yeah, so we have a really neat dish today. Um, it's uh, spaghetti squash and meatballs. Okay. Right? It's kind of fun. So um, I love spaghetti and meatballs. Mm -hmm something that I like to eat a lot and uh, I find the pasta a bit too much sometimes. It is and maybe this time of year too because I mean some people will have a big bowl of pasta in, in the middle of January mm -hmm. because it's that hearty kind of you know stick to your ribs yeah. sort of thing but this time of year we're still kind of gradually it's still kind of warm out and you know yeah. it's and again it's nice to use this this is actually really good for you it is. Lower in carbohydrates obviously, obviously and yeah. good for people who maybe have uh, gluten issues as well right? right? Right, so um, yeah, I tend to kind of keep keep it down on the pasta side when I'm mm -hmm. eating, though I do love pasta. Mm -hmm. So this is a good alternative. This is a spaghetti squash. And so all you do to prepare this is uh, is cut it in half, mm -hmm. 
and uh, and like any other squash there's going to be some seeds in the middle yep. just scrape them out then you want to put it um, cut side down onto a baking sheet mm -hmm. and just roast it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes or so until the skin is nice and soft and then we'll take it out let it cool a bit so we've got one of these in the oven right now mm -hmm. that we're uh, that we're cooking Perfect. And when we take it out, it'll be nice and soft. And we'll actually just scrape out the inside. And, uh, and, and you've never seen like, this before. It'll resemble, it, uh, it'll resemble, sorry, spaghetti. Which is, yeah, which is interesting. It's yeah. just long and stringy and, uh, mm -hmm. and it is, it's actually great. I've, I've had it even in salads, chilled. So it's so, yeah. <laughs> so good. Very, very neat thing. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit of a, uh, a twist on a classic dish. Mm -hmm. So we can just get rid of that to the side for now. Okay. Start off by making a tomato sauce. My tomato sauce that I make is very simple. Uh, a little bit of garlic. Okay. So I'll just chop that now. And I just kind of roughly chop my garlic, mince it, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, very simple. Like when I'm doing tomato sauce, I think the simpler, the better. Yes. So there's really not a lot that I put into it. Okay. So start out with our chopped garlic. But it is nice to make it fresh. I mean, obviously you could use, you know, there are there's the sauces that now are, are come with all the, the full herbs and everything in there. So, I mean, it, as a quick, easy, you can do that, but mm -hmm. it is nice to make it fresh still, you know, um, and be able to just use some nice canned whole tomatoes as you have and, right. and lots of nice herbs. Yeah, so start just by sauteing the garlic. And normally I'd say just saute that for a minute or two until you can start to smell it and it okay. becomes fragrant. Okay. And then I just have a, uh, white onions. You can use a white cooking onion or a Spanish onion mm -hmm. and uh, just add that in as well. And just saute this for a couple minutes until everything becomes slightly soft. Okay. This is basically a good base for any any tomato sauce that you need, right? Mm -hmm. Any type of spaghetti sauce. So Yeah. I tend to always kind of start start with the same ingredients. Always, sure. always uh, garlic and... <laughs> right. For soups, for everything, right? Yeah. So once we get that sauteing, then we can add in the herbs. Now I use dried herbs in my in my tomato sauce, so mm -hmm. I have some thyme here. Okay. So just sprinkle, you know, about a teaspoon or so of the thyme. Okay. And I do it at this time so you get the herbs cooking and the and the flavor starting to come out of it. A little bit of oregano. I add in salt and pepper, and you can adjust your salt and pepper later. Mm -hmm. And then I always just add a little pinch of sugar. Oh, do you? To take away some of the acidity. From okay. The tomatoes. Good tip. So a couple pinches of that. That's pretty straightforward. And then just get that mixing and then you mix it well so all of your onions are coated. And it's on quite a high heat now, so it's starting to get quite soft. Okay. And then at this time, I just added my canned tomatoes. Now I find using Whole tomatoes better. I think it gives a little bit more flavor. Yes. I use the Italian um, San Marzano tomatoes, mm -hmm. which I think are the most flavorful. You hear that yeah. a lot. Um, you do. Tend to be very popular. San Marzanos are the ones that people seem, seem to gravitate towards. Particularly, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you hear most chefs will use them. So, yep. it, it, and it, it really they do have amazing flavor to them. Right? I, I agree. Yeah. Yep. I haven't uh, I haven't really tasted a tomato like it around here. So, I and you can buy massive cans of them too, right? You can buy the giant. You can. <laughs> Make a whole bunch of sauce at once, you might as well. Yeah, so I like to use those canned tomatoes. Sometimes I do make tomato sauce fresh from, you know, from fresh tomatoes from the garden. Sure, yeah. Um, however, it's a little time consuming to do it that way. It yeah. really does take a lot of a lot of tomatoes, so. And you do, and, and most people will take, remove the skins too, right? So it, it's a bit of a process. It is. <laughs> so it is. So this is easier. <laughs> yeah, the whole canned tomatoes are the best, are the best bet. And I usually try to get you know, ones that don't have anything else added already. Right. Basically, you're just starting clean. Starting and then you're adding your own herbs, right? Mm -hmm. And you kind of break those down just a little bit, right? So you can kind of break them down so they're not full, full giant whole tomatoes in there, right? Right. Okay. So that's what I do with my spoon here. So I'll just kind of break each one down and we'll just let this simmer. Okay. I'd say minimum half an hour, but you can have it on all day if you'd like. Okay. So we'll just let that simmer now, and I actually have a hand blender, so what I normally do is just blend it all down after. So once it's been simmering, the tomatoes will break themselves down, but I like oh, to... Oh, and you hand blend them. I okay. like to puree it oh, okay. fully That's after. good to know. But that just depends on how you like your tomatoes, if you like them chunky or not. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then, like, the best part of this whole thing is making the... Um, Meatballs. The meatballs. Because that's going to taste really, really good. So let's yeah. uh, let's do those before yeah. we run out of so time. So again, simple is better to me, I mm -hmm. think. So with my um, with my meat, we just do a little bit of 
uh, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I add in some Parmesan cheese. Okay. That'll make it taste good. That'll mm -hmm. give them some good flavor. Some breadcrumbs. Some breadcrumbs. A little bit of Dijon mustard. Ah, that's good flavor. I thought I had a spoon here somewhere. Okay. Oh, there we go. We'll, oh. use, we'll use this guy. From the tomatoes. Okay. Yeah, so you can put a whole bunch of stuff in here. Sometimes I add a dash of Worcestershire sauce. Yes, um, okay, I've heard that before. People doing that as well. Yep. Um, but no eggs, you don't put any eggs in yours? I don't normally put egg, but maybe we can throw in a little bit of milk. Okay. Just to, just to um, give it a little bit soften of... Soften the breadcrumbs. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, other than that, this is basically my mixture. I do like to put some fresh herbs in my in my meatballs. So mm -hmm. we have here some fresh basil. Okay. And we'll just chop this up, mix it in, and then I like to roll them into little balls about one ounce. Okay. All right, so yeah. what we'll do is we're gonna take a quick break. We'll come back and we'll kind of put this all together so you can see what a spaghetti squash and meatball dinner is like. We'll be right back. Live color fully at Terra, where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, look for trees and shrubs with the medallion plant tag. Medallion plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. Welcome back to Tara at Home, and uh, we're back with Chef Rachel. We're mm -hmm. finishing up our spaghetti squash yes. and meatballs. Yep, so the uh, we'll just go over everything here. The sauce, you know, we've had it simmering for a while and I, and I pureed it so it's all nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the meatballs, after we rolled them, um, I just fried them up in the fry pan. Now you yeah. can start it in here and, uh, and brown them and then transfer them to the oven, but mm -hmm. I just fully cooked them in here. I like the crunch of the, um, mm -hmm. you know, nice. the outside when they're, when they're fried, but however you like to cook yours. Okay. So those are ready, and then here's the squash. So like I said before, we cut it in half and we put it cut side down. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's, still, it's still quite warm, but you wanna make sure that it's cool enough to handle. Mm. And, uh, and as you can see, and, uh, it's nice and soft, so you want the skin to be soft like that. And that's with any squash you put in the oven, right? Yeah. It's basically the same, same results, right? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just gonna do this right into the bowl here, but basically we just wanna take the fork and uh, and scrape it all out. Okay. And so you have these these individual strands almost yeah. that act as, like as pasta. your pasta. Yeah. So I'll just put it right into the bowl here, and then I'll drizzle the sauce on top. But you could also, uh, if you're making a big batch of it, you can toss it with the sauce first. Sure. If you like, but well, it definitely smells like fall when you're dealing with um, with squash like this. All of a sudden, that smell. That's it's it's we've arrived. So. Mm -hmm. But again, of course, you can always check out Rachel's recipes online at terragreenhouses.com. All of them are there, information's there, what you need to prepare. And uh, as we make our way through this new season of ours, uh, again, just a nice hearty recipe, uh, something a little warming on those cool nights yeah. as we start to enter that time. And, and it, really is, it really is delicious. You won't miss the pasta. Perfect. Definitely try it. So basically, meatballs, sauce on top, and it's that easy. Yeah. Do you put cheese on top? We have Maybe. some Parmesan cheese here that we can Perfect. put on top when it's all done. Very good. And I'll let you just finish that. And, uh, and again, of course, uh, uh, again, a beautiful time of season. We've officially let summer go. I don't know if I've completely let it go, but uh, mm -hmm. this is uh, definitely something to look forward to. That's it for now for Tara at Home. Have yourself a great weekend.